Distinguished guests, dear friends, today we are releasing the fourth edition of the Standardization Roadmap Industry 4.0. This is yet another milestone, not just for the digital transformation of our industry, but also for standardization organizations like us, the DKE. And I'm sure Christoph Winterhalter will agree for DIN as well. This roadmap will guide our work in the upcoming years. And even more, it helps to channel the needs, expectations of our stakeholders, the technical experts who participate in the drafting and development of our standards. They expressed their expectations in the future of standardization work. This, for example, includes a closer cooperation with open source initiatives and a more agile standardization approach as highlighted in section 3.1 of the roadmap. And the users of standards also expressed their needs on future standards and how they can be integrated in existing and future value chains as articulated in section 1.2 of the roadmap. It is, of course, easy to say digital transformation matters to all of us. The new edition of the standardization roadmap, Industry 4.0, is showing us in detail the relevance of digitization to all aspects of standardization. When I say all aspects, I really mean all aspects. As standardization professionals, we always start with a definition. And in this case, we will do the same. The IEC Strategy Group 12, Future of Digital Transformation, provides the following definition for digital transformation. Digital transformation is the profound transformation of business and organizational activities, processes, competencies, and models to fully leverage the changes and opportunities of a mix of digital technologies and their accelerating impact across society in a strategic and prioritized way, with present and future shifts in mind. With this definition in mind, let me give you a few practical examples. Due to the ongoing situation caused by the coronavirus, we have an, let's say, unplanned large-scale pilot for virtual meetings. Since mid of March, all our technical bodies are conducting their meetings online. I recall just a few months ago, we were still having controversial discussions if we would accept web format for technical body meetings. Now we have simply implemented it and it works. Imagine it was planned to launch this standardization roadmap during the Hanover Fair, which was scheduled for this week. Today, I'm conveying this message to all of you online. Such examples of working more digitally will more and more become the new normal of our work life in the future. Producing more digital content is another objective. Under this objective, concepts and projects such as database standards, use of markup languages are defined and categorized according to a four-level classification scheme. Step zero is paper standard, which was common until a few years ago. Step one is digital format, like PDF. This allows reading and searching of standards as well as cross-linking between documents. But this is not the final stage of a digital transformation. This is just the beginning. Step two is machine-readable documents. This format allows a so-called tagging of elements of a standard and a first basic level of analysis of the standard by a software. However, it's not clear for such a software if, for example, a text is a definition or a requirement. In step three, the context of the elements is encoded. For example, all requirements of a standard can be extracted automatically and transferred to a requirement engineering tool. Finally, in step four, the standard is machine interpretable. This enables, besides other applications, an automatic assessment of conformity with a specific standard. For example, the nominal voltage of an electric device is encoded as a standardized and so-called semantic property with a unique identifier. Based on this standardized semantic, encoding an automatic assessment of conformity and compatibility is possible. More details on these technologies are described in section two of the roadmap. 
All these steps have and will bring added values to the use of standards. However, step four, digital standards content, is the key enabler for the full implementation of Industry 4.0 concepts, which is, in a nutshell, machine interpretable standards enable a fully automated reconfiguration of production lines and production units with, at the same time, automatic assessment of conformity based on standards. As you can see, by now, the standardization roadmap Industry 4.0 is not just another roadmap describing which standards we need to develop. It also gives us guidance to define a roadmap for the digital transformation of the standardization system itself. Of course, this cannot be achieved by just one single organization on its own. Therefore, I'm happy that we are closely working with our national and international partners like DIN and IEC to realize and multiply the benefits that I have described today. If you would like to contribute to these activities, we would be happy to get in contact with you. Please feel free to approach us at any time. Finally, let me express my gratitude to the community of Industry 4.0 experts worldwide. They are strong supporters of digital transformation of standardization. Early adopters of digital standards, open-minded reviewers of our ideas and partners in many pilot projects. I look forward to continuing working with all of you. Together, we will develop the standardization system that is fit for the future. Thank you.